Is Petroglyph possibly teasing that they're working on a next remaster for Command & Conquer? What is up Commanders? Red here and it's been some time since I've spoken about a Command & Conquer game and I'm not going to talk about Command & Conquer Legion because I'm just going to pretend that that game does not exist. Now it's no surprise that people want a remaster for Riddler 2 and Tiberian Sun and with the IP still lying with EA Games, nobody really knows what's going on with the franchise. Are we going to get more remasters? or are we going to get a completely new Command & Conquer game? But it seems like something could be stirring at Petroglyph based on some recent posts. Now please note that this is purely speculative and nothing of this is confirmed, but before I go on the actual posts, talk about Petroglyph games and what they've been working on recently, and we know earlier this year they released a World War I RTS, The Great War Western Front, which released to somewhat mixed reviews, and honestly the RTS discussion online, people aren't really Really talking about this game that much. I've personally not played it myself, but some of the reviews that I've seen and some of the live streams that I've watched of this game, it looks fine. But of course, if you look at the reception of Command & Conquer Remastered Collection, it was really positive and people are thirsty for more Command & Conquer, again, not in the form of Legion, but either in a remaster of Riddler 2 and Tiberian Sun or a brand new real-time strategy Command & Conquer game. Now, the Facebook page of Petroglyph Games has been fairly quiet, only posting or talking about the Great War and that was earlier this year. However, two days ago, they started being more active on Facebook and they first posted this stating, quote, every commander has that one unit in an RTS that they remember, whether it's a commando with personality or an epic robot. What is your favorite unit from any real-time strategy and what makes it awesome, end quote. Now, of course, when they talk about a commando with a personality, that is, of course, talking about the Command & Conquer franchise. Now, at first, when I saw this, I didn't really think much of it. I was just thinking, thinking how they're just trying to make some sort of conversation online, but then yesterday they posted this stating, quote, Commanders, yesterday we asked what your favorite unit was in any RTS. Today's question is a bit different. Who was your most memorable enemy in an RTS? Were they an honored bound general, an inscrutable alien, or have mad genius bent on world domination? End quote. With a picture of Kane from the original Command & Conquer game. Now, when I saw this, I had to do a double take on my phone because at first when they posted the picture of Kane, starting the post by saying commanders, I thought that they were about to announce a new Command & Conquer game or a remaster for Tavirian Sun. But alas, it was just another question about enemy units in RTS games. Regardless, my eyebrow was slightly raised when I saw this question and I was just thinking in the back of my head, imagine they're gonna announce a new Command & Conquer game. But then today, they had another post, this one directly related to the remastered collection of Command & Conquer, stating, quote, Welcome back, commanders. The Command & Conquer remastered collection is 65% off on Steam at time of posting. Don't miss out on this iconic real-time strategy, end quote, with a link to the game store on the Steam page. Now, honestly, when I saw this, I immediately thought that this was the announcement of a remastered collection volume 2, which includes Riddler 2 and Tabir and Son. But again, this was just talking about a sale of the remastered collection of Command & Conquer. And yes, EA is having a sale currently on Steam. So this could all just be one big coincidence or trying to generate some extra sales of of something that was already financially successful to the company. And if you look at the responses in the comments, literally everybody is saying that it's time to do a new remaster of Riddler 2 and Tavir and Sun. It is time for a new real-time strategy Command & Conquer game. And like I said, all of these posts could just be purely coincidence with timing, but I cannot help but wonder, are they teasing or are they building up to a possible announcement that they are in fact working on a remaster for Riddler 2 and Tavir and Sun? I said the Great War did all right, but the the Steam numbers or the player count isn't nearly as close to that of the remastered collection of Command & Conquer, and the costs for a remaster version 2 or a volume 2 for EA would not be that high at all. The risk is very little and the reward is very high. We have two days back to back where Petroglyph posted not only images of Command & Conquer but also the audience commanders. Like I said, I cannot help but wonder, is Petroglyph actually working on a remaster for Riddler 2 and Tiberian Sun? Now, as I said in the beginning of this video, this is all just speculation. None of this is confirmed. There is no official leaks or anything that hints to a new remaster in the works, but we'll have to wait and see if Petroglyph is actually working on Command & Conquer. But what do you think about these announcements? Do you think this is purely coincidence or do you think they are teasing us, building up to a inevitable announcement of Red Alert 2 Remastered as well as a remaster for Tavir and Sun? But until next time, if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, then give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank. I'm the Red Tie Guy. Frankly, thank you for
watching. Catch you guys in the next video.